Frost and Sullivan, we value the global environment and water industry at close to a trillion dollars. Currently, the key challenges that we see, especially with water utilities, is energy efficiency. Utilities lose about 60% at the maximum in terms of non-revenue water losses and at times consume close to 50% of their energy purely on the distribution of water. So the energy question was a huge opportunity for a wide range of stakeholders, right from technology providers to design engineering companies, chemical companies, as well as solution providers, how they can help utilities to become much more energy efficient. Water scarcity used to be a very regional issue in the past, but as right now it's become pretty much a global issue. This we've seen uh, pretty much given the emergence of the desalination market, we've seen a resurgence of the desalination market recently, but we see a future much more surrounding water use and recycling and the circular economy as such. What we've seen also change is the intensity of technology use in the water utilities. In the last decade, we've seen the percentage of investment in terms of real value of shift from 15% to 20% of the overall value of the water utility industry. When we look at the industrial sector, the industry used to consider the water treatment within an industry to, to be different to the water treatment needs outside of the industry unit itself. So we're seeing service providers now thinking of a solution which combines this together and going with the value proposition that addresses this as a holistic integrated water proposition for the industrial customer. What we've also seen is when we look at water utilities, for example, they're treating the customer at the center of the strategy that they're putting together. Going forward, I think one of the key points that we're going to see is innovation in key technologies and how business models are going to transform of how the service providers are going to take the solutions and services to the customers both on the industrial as well as the municipal side. We're going to see different business models of software as a service, maybe even as water as a service, or data as a service, and a technology as a service, and how companies are going to put this together based on addressing some of the key pain points of utilities and the industrial customer.